Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to make the enemy miss some of some of its shots. So say you have a shooter game and you have an enemy that shoots at you and they make their every shot and when that happens it's a bit hard to play against. So for example it's it's hard because they make their every shot. So it's very easy for me to die and I want the enemy to miss some of its shots. So how can I make that? Wait, well the way I did it is if I go to the enemy shooter uh, if I go to the enemy shooter class that all enemies uh, inherit from here I have uh, so if I go to the header file I created this float called mischance and this is uh, edit anywhere. So this is so if miss chance is 0 0.5, then the enemy will miss uh, half of its shots. And how do I implement that? Well, I have this function called fire that handles firing logic of the enemy. But the important thing here is that we create a random value between 0 and 1, and if that random value is less than mischance, then uh, we we uh, create this boolean uh, called miss and we set it to true. And when we uh, call, I have another function in the pull, uh, in the weapon called pull trigger, and we pass that on. So basically, here what happens is that let's say the the, the mischance is one, right? If mischance is one every random value that we have created will be uh, less than or equal to mischance so each time it will miss so what happens in, in, in this in this pull trigger uh, function in the weapon right so we have different logic that uh, handles whether we're shooting from uh, from the player or uh, from the enemy but if we're shooting from the enemy we do two line traces one from enemy's viewpoint and one from the gun this is not important right now but what, what changes is here is uh, what happens if we pass uh, so we have pull trigger here we pass whether we miss or not and uh, we have another function uh, here called get fire hit result we pass that into here too this is not uh, really important actually this is just how I implemented it but the uh, the, the main logic here is that we do a different line trace if the character is going to miss. So if the character does not miss, is not going to miss, we do this uh, line trace that is just uh, directly from, from the enemy uh, to the player. However, if we want it to miss, uh, here comes some linear algebra. So what we want to do is to uh, have a random offset that's either to the right, to the left, or to upwards of the player so that the, the enemy can miss some of its shots. Now, we don't want to just do any random offset in any direction because what if our random direction is towards the back of the enemy? That our line trace will still hit the hit the player right uh, so we only want a direction to the left right or upwards of the enemy so how do we do that now what I have done here and I got this idea from actually uh, from a user in reddit let me just show you actually real quick because uh, this is not completely my idea this is okay this guy um, Pili 1974 this guy this is the real goat who came up with the idea this guy or gal I don't know actually uh, whoever this person came up with the idea so what I do is I take the cross product of uh, the direction that we're shooting at right so I'm shooting like this for example I take this direction and I take the upward vector and in, in the world right and because the player is standing up uh, it makes sense to just take the upward vector and if I take the cross product 
uh, I get another vector that is to the right, I think, yeah, to the right of the player. Because cross product gives a vector that is orthogonal to both, uh, both other vectors. So it's orthogonal to both uh, the weapon trace direction, the direction of our shot, and the upwards vector. So I have a vector to the right of the player and I add that vector, a random offset between 100 and 150, which means uh, 100 and 150 units. And um, in Unreal Engine, that is enough to have the enemy miss the shot. And half of the time, I make this random offset negative because half of the time I want this uh, to be to the left of the player instead of the right. And I have another random offset, uh, and this is between minus 50 and 150. So it's it could be a little bit down or a bit more up. And I add this to the up vector, right? So it could be so instead of just like shooting it like this, it can shoot between like between here and here, something like this. And I add this to the the original the original place that we wanted to end the line trace. So this is the original vector that we would have ended the line trace. And in in this case, line trace hits the player. But here we add a random upwards vector and we add a random left or right vector. And now it would uh, end. And just to uh, have you visualize this more easily, I'm going to I'm going to draw a debug line just to show this line trace. Uh, so I'll just say draw a line. Uh, this is a macro that I have defined before, so I can just use it. So I'll say from the weapon tree start and until the weapon trees and miss. You know what? Let's draw a line trace for the case that we don't miss too. So instead of weapon trace and miss, we just do this at weapon trace and. So we can easily visualize the two cases where uh, we hit the player and we don't hit the player. And if we just compile our code, there is an error, it seems. Uh, there is a syntax error here at line 137. So what did I... Oh, I somehow I deleted this. Okay. And we have compiled our code right now. Remember the variable that I created an enemy shooter, mischance, and it's editable anywhere. So if I can, I can just go to my enemy and type miss, and I'll get that that variable right here, right? And now mischance is zero, which means that it'll hit every every shot. Let's make mischance one, so it'll miss every shot, right? Let's compile it, and let me just play from here and look at this there is a random variation in every shot we're getting some shots from here too and somehow all the shots are uh, in all their shots they're missing uh, us by some value that is great now I can play with this. I can make it so that they will miss uh, 90 90 percent of their shots, right? If I do this, and you know what, having two two enemies shoot at the same time is a bit confusing right now. Let's delete this. Let's just focus on this enemy for now. 
and I'll just start from here. I hope there are no shooter enemies around. Okay. So now they hit only some of their shots, like only uh, only ten percent of their shots, right? Which is great. Now the game is much easier. I can easily kill this enemy. And uh, yeah, so that's all. That's how I did it. Uh, if you're looking for something similar, I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.